Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here with the JF-17. We're going to be dogfighting the MiG-29. It's going to be a low altitude fight. Now, as you know, the MiG-29 is high off boresight capable. It's going to be firing the R-73 Archer. The JF-17 does not have a high off boresight missile. The next best thing it has is the Fox 3 SD-10, which are capable of some pretty crazy moves, twisting and turning, and you know, they can score some insane kills. Uh, so we're going to try to make that happen today. Either way, these are two aircraft, both very good in the dogfight, so it should be rather interesting. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm sure many of you are aware the AA-11 Archer is one of the most potent dogfighting missiles capable of high off boresight, crazy loops and, you know, hitting targets in really unsuspecting ways. Uh, so I'm very much at a disadvantage here. The plan is to get to the merge, jam the Wes long enough to survive a couple turns, and end up on his six into the merch here. And the JF-17 has pretty good nose authority, so that actually was pretty decent. You see that Archer had no track, fired way too close. Uh, that's my buddy Silk, by the way, flying the MiG-29 for us today. A couple of gun rounds right over his head. Very close, I think, those were. And right here, see I'm on his six. SD-10 Fox 3. And look at that thing turn, oof. Ah, that was beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. The SD-10 will do some wild things for you, man. Do not sleep on the Fox 3 SD-10. Don't necessarily feel you have to bring these Fox 2s to the fight. The SD-10 does not disappoint. All of that being said, the MiG-29 is still a formidable opponent in a dogfight, especially when you don't remove his helmet-mounted sight and you allow him to really use his uh, high off sight capability. Uh, to be honest, there's a little bit of luck involved in this for me. Uh, the JF-17 is fantastic, but it's very easy to stall it out, pull a little bit too hard on the stick, and the gun on this thing is truly horrific. You know, don't get me wrong, the gun on this is awful. Um, into the merge here. And once again, we're going to use the vertical. This time I'm pretty fast here, so he might actually get a missile off. Yeah, there it is. Dumping flares, that missile's going to miss. Lock. Lock. What a close Fox 3 for me. I shouldn't have fired that one. That was a waste. And I'm pretty sure I just smoked the ground. And I think he's going to get a Fox 2. Yep, and it's coming from my face. I don't quite know what it is, but those Fox 2s always seem to hit me in the face. It happens more often than not. Sometimes they come around the back and they hit you in the ass, but most of the time they're hitting me right in the face, right in between the eyes. It's very strange. So bizarre. All right, uh, into the merge here once again, very shortly through this uh, smoke cloud. I think he's on the other side of that yet. Yeah. Yeah, here he comes into the merge right here right over the golf course gonna put on quite a show for these guys and looks like he's going for the vertical he might have turned the other way and look at this JF-17 nose just come around Lock. come on Fox 3 that's gonna hit him for sure yep oh look at that thing turn into him I love that that is so satisfying to see Angle. the AMRAM is also capable Angle. of doing this but it seems like the SD-10 is a little bit better at it than the AMRAM.
So one of the reasons that the gun on the JF-17 is so bad, uh, it's because it's pointed down. Most fighters point it up in order to be able to pull lead better. The JF-17 has the gun pointed, I believe, an 8 degree angle down because it's intended for ground targets, to be fair to the JF-17. Um, now you try to use that gun in an air-to-air -air situation, you have to pull tremendous amounts of lead into the merge here one circle. Pulling all that lead bleeds a lot of energy. It's very difficult to pull that lead if the band is tightening down. It creates a lot of problems. And you'll also see that the ACM modes on the JF-17, they take a little too long to get the lock to the point where it could actually cost you the fight. Um, we're now up behind this MiG-29. Nicely situated behind him. Fox 3 tried to pull a little bit of lead for it. Look at that thing. Track him. Oh, it tried. It tried. Look at those guns. Come on. Come on with these awful guns. So close. I gotta walk the tracers on the... There we go. All right. That missile missed. <laughs> Would have been hilarious if I could have hit him with that. You see, that's the guns of the JF-17. Horrific, man. You gotta fire, 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 and just walk the tracers on target. Splash MiG-29. So, I guess the conclusion we can get here, the MiG-29 is actually in an advantageous position when it comes to, like, looking at the fight on paper, you know? Because the MiG-29 is a fantastic dogfighter, and then you couple the Archer in there, it's fantastic, right? Um, but what we can see, or at least what I can deduce here, if the JF-17 can survive a couple of rounds with the MiG-29, like, you know, one or two turns, he can, you know, shift the fight into the merge here. He can kind of get himself into a good position where the SD-10 can do some favorable things for him. There's that Fox 2 that luckily had no track. Lock, lock, Fox 3. Lock, My missile had no track, but it tried. And remember, we're keeping it one Angle circle to jam the Wes. Angle of attack. This MiG-29 may have stalled himself out here. Angle of attack. Angle and look at this ACM mode. Just takes too long, man. The vertical lock on the on the JF-17 just takes a little too long. It is one of the weaknesses of the JF. It doesn't have a fantastic radar. Um, here we go. This MiG-29, you know, the MiG-29 is also a good raid fighter. That's another thing. That's rate. R-A-T-E. Okay, for anybody wondering, it is not a rape fight. It is not a raid fight. Okay. Lock, rate. Lock, lock. Got a lock here. Fox Angle. 3. Come on. It didn't track. It, it's turning though. And it just smoked the ground over there. Now you see the rate fight is a very bad place to be because if I let the speed build up too much the circle gets too large and the MiG-29 will be able to take a high off boresight shot at me. Like that. Oh shit! Alright guys, there you have it. That's the video for today. A lot of fun in the JF-17. Like I said, don't sleep on those Fox 3 missiles, the SD-10s. They are capable of some weird stuff in the merge. Don't necessarily consider them as dead weight. If you find yourself in a merge with a Fox 3, you have, you have SD-10s, you can definitely make some use of it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.